Hello, and the next video in the series. This time I want to explain to you why is it good to have an empty clause at the end. I left you off with this one. I explained to you that I will prove that I am stupid. And because we have an empty clause at the end, I said that we have proven that I'm stupid. This is a more readable way of all that stuff. And for explaining why this is as it is, let's say this is just A. And let's say this is just stupid and the empty box. And let's start this here. I want to bring this in a better form. This is, I think, a little bit better readable. And I hope you understand that this is basically the same as just not S. And all these three, let's say, statements are connected, or in our case, A, only two statements are connected with an end. Let's write around A and not stupid. So if you look closely, I said I will prove that I'm stupid, but apparently we're using the fact that I'm not stupid and this stuff. So what's happening here? What we are doing with this method here is we are not showing that something is true. We are showing that something is not satisfiable. That means we show that something, in our case this one or this one, can never be true. To be honest, I went over this topic on and on until I really gotten into it again. So maybe it's a little bit hard to understand it the first time. I try my best. Let's first start to explain this in language. Because we have an empty set at the end, we have proven that this is not satisfiable. But this is never true. It's a little bit easier to understand. Okay. So I've chosen this one. Oh, sorry, this was a little bit misleading. The whole statement on top is basically the same or should express the same as this one. So this is never satisfiable. This is never true. Should express the same when, uh, same thing as not this content is always true. And this should be the same as or this is the same as this one. Also, this is always true. And I hope you understand where we're going. This is always true. And therefore, because of this stuff, I am stupid. This is what we're doing here. Basically, that's the explanation why we have proven it. You can stop the video if you don't care about the rest. I will draw um, a truth table now. And just to say this in advance, I looked, I myself looked at the truth table and didn't understand it. So it's also a little bit not so easy or I'm just stupid. This is the truth table. I hope you figured that this one is this one. And the one that we actually want to show is this one on the left. I told you that we showed that this is never true, that this is never true. Now you look at the truth table and you see, well, but there's a one here. But you said it's never true, but there's a one here. What's going on? What this tells us is that this is never the case, that this case does not exist. This is what we have proven with this method. Further, we also prove, have proven with this method that this must be zero and this must be zero and this must be zero. It can't be one. Okay, that was a little bit too much. We did not really prove that. Sorry for that, for, <laughs> sorry for the hot words. Um, but let's say this way we have proven that all the zeros that are appearing here in this area cannot be there and there's only one zero. And this, for example, this must be a zero. If it would be a one, it would be non-existent. So this case would not be there. But um, as it is not a one, it's a zero. So therefore it's there. And as you see in this table, this is basically just the inverse uh, inversion, sorry, the invert value of this one. So this is zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. This means that for all zeros here on the right side, on, on this thing, all this stuff is one. Just imagine for a second, or maybe you think, well, hey, 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 but what about if this is a zero and then you have proven nothing? Um, then you just check out this, right? This is both zero, so this has to be a one. This is like logically given that this has to be a one and this has to be a zero. And within this logical given stuff, we further say, and this is the proof, and erase all the things with the one here in this column. This is the reason why we have proven that this is actually true 
although we have only proven that this can never be true. I'm not sure if I really got the point or, or got the right words so it's perfectly understandable. If not, if you don't understand, please ask in the comments. It's a little bit hard to figure out at the beginning, as I think, but it should be more understandable. If you have an idea how to explain it a little bit better, then let me please know. Also check out the video description. I will put updates about the content inside the video description. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and make sure to watch the next videos.